The global chemicals industry is a multi-trillion dollar business and is a very important part of the world economy. The industry produces thousands of different types of chemicals which go into various products that we use every day from toothpaste to textiles to sports equipment from petroleum additives to beauty products and thousands of other things. However, many of the intermediate chemicals that are used to produce these end products are harmful to people and the environment as they could be flammable, explosive, toxic, corrosive, or harmful in other ways. They need to be carefully handled. Until recently, there was no single global standard or any uniform way for classifying these chemicals and labeling them. Every country or region had its own system for classification and labeling. For example, a product may be considered flammable or toxic by one agency or country, but not by another. The cost of compliance with multiple systems of classification and labeling was significant. It was a major barrier to global sourcing, trading and handling of chemicals. Hence, starting in 1992 with the Rio Conference, the United Nations, the UN led an initiative to have a common global system for classification and labeling of chemicals. This work continued for several years and in 2003, the UN adopted the globally harmonized system of classification and labeling of chemicals, known as GHS for short. Since then, the GHS has undergone several revisions. The last one was in August 2019, known as Revision 8. This Abbey some GHS course is based on this Revision 8. and it will help you learn all about the GHS